when the player understands that you are working for them, it's not about philosophy to play one four four two or one four three three or play uh, more defensive in a counterattack or dominate the game. It's, it's about that they feel they fe they feel that you want the best for them. That is the the the, the most uh, uh, important thing: philosophy, methodology, um, style of football, or different ideas. I think are not important. First of all, they need to understand the player that all that we are going to do are not to punish them. Always, always if we are not going to give one week uh, off, it's because we want the best for them. It's not because we don't want that then they uh, enjoy life. Yeah. It's because they are professional. Welcome to our video today. In our video today, we are going to analyze Mauricio Pochettino's famed formation and this formation he has employed at every club he has managed. This formation that we are going to analyze today is the 4-2-3-1 formation. The 4-2-3-1 formation is a common football formation, but before we start this analysis, I'd like you to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. So during the build-up phase, in a Pochettino's 4-2-3-1 formation, the build-up involves the goalkeeper, the centre-backs and the holding midfield. So the team likes to spread out during the build-up phase, with the two centre-backs dropping on either side of the goalkeeper while the goalkeeper steps out from his line. So when the goalkeeper steps out from his line, the forward line tries to press the team and one midfielder drops deep to form a diamond during the build-up shape where they can maneuver the opposition's press. Here you can see his former Tottenham Hotspur team, the three centre-backs building up with one midfielder dropping deep during the build-up phase. They like this diamond formation when he builds up with his team, with centre-backs who are keen to building a play through long balls. Now, during the open play phase of the game, Pochettino's team can either play the ball to the fullback where the entire team can swarm towards that side and create a side overload. So, during this setup, you might find that one of the center backs is good at playing long balls or a defensive midfielder in this position to pick up the wide fullbacks who operate as wingers. So during this phase of play, the wingers play close to each other as inside forwards and the fullbacks push forward and advance to give the team width in the attacking phase of play. You can see here Tottenham in their 3-4-2-1 formation with the fullbacks acting as wingbacks and the two holding midfielders playing just ahead of the back three. Now, to form this back three shape, the two forwards, that is one winger and the attacking midfielder push forward and one defensive midfielder drops deep to play as a halfback while the other operates in between the lines who can receive the ball and dictate the tempo of the game. In this position, the opposition are able to be outnumbered and once the ball reaches to the more creative midfielder operating in between the lines, that is Enzo Fernandez, he can play penetrative passes to the forwards. Now, unlike most, most teams who deploy a number 10, Pochettino's team, the number 10 is not a creator, but rather a second striker who ghosts past the striker to score goals. Therefore, the winger is the one who starts to drop deep to pick the ball from the center midfielder and thread through balls for the wingers, the attacking midfielder and the fullbacks. In this case, Modric can play that role. Alternatively, Sterling has also played this role at Manchester City, dropping deep from his forward line position, taking on players and beating them, as well as pushing forward and threading balls for the runners, both the attacking midfielder and the striker. And this is one of the key tactical innovations by Pochettino during his build-up phase. Now, one midfielder, one 
inside forward he starts to be creative so that he can know when to link up with the fullback the fullback in this case he starts to be attacking that wide space and making crosses inside the box the crosses can be either to the striker or low cutbacks to the number 10 who can make and score goals from this outside the box position and this was akin to the Leali and is something that Nkunku has done perfectly at Leipzig now let's look at the defensive face so in the defensive phase the Pochettino team likes to press high up the pitch coming from the Marcelo Bielsa school of pressing they press with the high line with the spacing behind covered by the goalkeeper therefore Kepa will be tasked to know how to sweep so that his team can be able to press effectively in a high line aided by two Pessy centre backs so the pressing strategy is usually a 4-1-1-4 with the two forwards sitting on the two holding midfielder while one midfielder pushes forward to cover for a forward who surges forward to press. For example, when the opponent is trying to build up the play, one forward starts to leave his position so that he can force the ball to be played on one side. So when this forward presses this situation, he covers one centre back to force the ball to be played on one side of the pitch, while the floating midfielder pushes forward to cover the double pivot to prevent central progression. So when the ball is played to the other centre back, they act as a piston with the winger tucking in to cover the second pivot and therefore forcing the ball to be played to the fullback. The main aim is to initiate a touchline press where they can win the ball quick enough. This touchline press is aided by the winger stepping out from his inside position and surging forward towards the fullback while the entire team shifts to cover central passing lanes. Also a pass back to the center back is cut by the striker. This forces the fullback to play to the winger where the fullback can intercept the ball or alternatively to play the ball long where the goalkeeper can sweep it. Now, in instances where you have a competent fullback and the winger slows down to track the fullback, there is a switch of play that can be made since the opposition fullback is left free. And in this situation, Pochettino's team know when to momentarily drop back and sit in a mid 4 for 2 block to limit central progression and use their wingers to double up together with the fullback to cover the wide areas. Now, in open play, the two forwards sit on the two holding midfielders to prevent central progression of the ball, allowing the center backs to advance with the ball forward. So in this case, a piston press can be effected with both forwards moving momentarily to force the play down the full back area, where a winger can spring forward to effect a touchline press to win the ball using the touchline as an extra defender. So in the event that a winger manages to maneuver a fullback in these situations, the team is tasked to drop deep with one of the pivots dropping into the half space to cover the run of the winger and prevent a cross. But when a cross is effected, the fullbacks are tasked to be competent in the air to win their aerial duel. And therefore, the goalkeeper should also know how to claim the ball. Kepa needs to improve in that situation. So in some instances, the holding midfielder can win the ball in midfield as the opposition try to thread balls through them and therefore Kaisedo in this situation can play Nkunku in between the lines and effectively engage a swift and quick counter attacks and this is something that most Pochettino teams effectively do. So we like to see how Pochettino effectively employs this 4-2-3-1 tactic at Chelsea and how he will be able to improve Chelsea with this formation. I continue to urge you to look at more videos that we've done about Mauricio Pochettino, his preferred lineup, his preferred system, and now we've done and analyzed his 4-2-3-1 formation. We'd like to see your predictions on where he will take Chelsea this season and what you expect him to win in the couple of seasons. Leave your comments down in the comment section below and thanks for watching this video.